Osmo Pocket 3 from DJI is undeniably one of the coolest and most useful camera systems on the market. It's a perfect portable camera system, but maybe you've got yourself one and you're kind of thinking like, I want some more, like I want some more accessories. I want to get more out of this unit. I have laid out, as you can see in front of you, all of my favorite accessories and add-ons for the Osmo Pocket 3 to help you make the right decision, just so you can upgrade your workflow and get more out of this camera unit. Now, first things first, let's start off with the desktop stand here. This is actually a prototype right here. So I will have the updated version linked below. All of these accessories will be linked below. This one here is a desktop stand. And this is something that is actually super useful because I find that you sit your Osmo Pocket 3 on the desk and it is a little bit wobbly, right? It's a little bit nerve wracking just sitting it there, one awkward bump and it's gonna be smashing down on the screen or the camera. And that's definitely something you don't want. I find that I have it standing up like this when I want to plug it in and transfer files. But this desktop stand here just allows me to slot in the unit like so. And then I still have access to the USB-C on the back here but I just know that it's nice and secure. I'm not gonna have to worry about it getting knocked or bumped or anything like that. Perfectly secure on your desk. So like I said, this is a prototype. I will have a link below for all of these accessories and an updated link for this product here. But just the concept of it is fantastic, especially if you're copying files regularly and you're putting it on your desk. Even just to leave it on your desk, it's a nice feature of your library of different accessories possibly. If you've got different cameras and whatnot, having the Osmo Pocket 3 proudly standing on your desk is very nice. So that's the first one that I would highly recommend. Let's go on to the expansion kit here. Now this just kind of gives you a few more options, a few more ways of adding on to the Pocket 3. Now I love the build quality of this one. It's a lightweight metal and it just looks very elegant. I love that they've painted it black and it just stands out nicely. So literally all you have to do is you just unscrew this section here until it kind of flings open like so. You then put it around your Osmo Pocket 3, and this just gives you a few more options again. So, once it's mounted on, you can mount it wherever you think you need to mount it. Be mindful though, you definitely don't wanna cover up the joystick or the record button, and just make sure that it's mounted nice and securely. Uh, keep in mind that you're most likely gonna cover up the micro SD slot on the side. But this just gives you a few options, right? So now I've got a little hot shoe mount, cold shoe mount, whatever you wanna call it, on the side there. And let me just grab a microphone just to show you how you can mount a few different options on here. So this is the DJI Mic 2, and I can just slot it in this way, and then I've got a directional micro Phone, right? I can point it towards the subject if I don't want to have it on them or for some vlogging stuff I can flip it back the other way and point it at me as I'm vlogging. You can also mount on like different lights. Most lights have the option to mount on with cold shoe and you can mount on other rigs if you want to attach other accessories here. And this is just a very handy option to, uh, they call it the expansion kit, right? It just is extra expansion, gives you a few extra options to mount on different accessories. On the back here, you do have a quarter inch screw. So that again, gives you a few more options. A lot of other accessories out there do use the quarter inch mounting point. It still leaves open up, it still leaves access, sorry, to the quarter inch on the base here so I can mount this onto a tripod but then I can also mount maybe like an arm that allows me to pull out a light off to the side you could have maybe a directional mic clipped into the side here so there's a bunch of different options doesn't add really any extra weight nothing significant and it is quite a sleek design it isn't too awkward or, or in the way so that's a really nice add-on that I would definitely suggest this one here is very handy because it actually allows you to create a suction cup mounted spot in your car, on your desk, wherever it may be that you want to mount this on. And let me just get this out so you can see what you get inside. So here is the suction cup bracket for the Pocket 3. And this one here is really cool. It gives you a bunch of different customization. You can twist, rotate, you can pull down, up, move in all sorts of wild and wacky directions. You've got a very sticky base here. So this is gonna mount onto really any surface and you can then suction it on. Probably not gonna get it off the desk if I do that because it's really sticky. But yeah, you have the option to mount your Pocket 3 in all sorts of directions. So this is how you connect it up. You basically just slot this over the top. You can see there's a little slot there that just goes, or a little circle, like a cutout over the record button. So you can still press that. It keeps the joystick available to you. And then you just mount it on here with the screw and you've got a fully customized rig if you are in your car or if you want to mount it to your desk, for example. Just gives you a bunch of different options. So let me just get this connected and I will show you how it works. 
There you go, so I've got it mounted on now. You can see you can change all sorts of directions. You can rotate it. There's all different bracing points and you can change how tight they all are and if you wanna have it in different angles and whatnot. You've got a bunch of different options here. Really cool rig, nice and sticky base. The suction cup is, oh. Nice and secure. It's going to take me a while to get that off now, but I wanted to do it. Why not? Love this. It's great. It's going to work in all sorts of scenarios. And it just means that you can take your Pocket 3 with you. If you're in the car and you want to do some vlogging, you know, if you're in a different scenario, like maybe you are on a desk like this and you don't have a tripod and you just want to suction it to the desk for a regular recording setup, this is how you can do it. Nice and simple. And you've got all sorts of ways that you can move the system, tighten it, loosen it. Really awesome rig. So definitely check this one out. Again, all of these will be linked below. I'm going to show you some of the cases now. So the first one is this storage case here, and this one's a little bit more sleek than the other ones. It's kind of designed purely to house the actual Pocket 3 itself. So this is it here, and you can see that it pretty much is designed just for the camera system itself. The other cases I'll show you do come with some more storage options, but as you open this up, you can see it comes with just a few different accessories. So you get this little wrist strap here so that you can obviously connect it to your wrist or to your bag or whatever it may be. You've got a clip here, you can clip that on as well. And then ideally you're just going to be putting your camera system in like so. So it sits nicely, it kind of sits up a little bit, but it does house it perfectly. And you've got this kind of velvety feeling interior, very soft and forgiving. So, you know, any sort of knocks or anything like that is not going to damage the screen. It's gonna be nice and soft on the screen and on the camera. So this is great, absolutely love this. And then the actual case itself is pretty hard, you know, so it's gonna be protecting your camera system when you're out and about. I do have another mounting option here that's kind of like the expansion kit but it's slightly different and gives you a few different options so i thought that i'll show you this one as well so you can see similar kind of design as the previous one this section just kind of slots over the actual camera itself but then it gives you two mounting points right so you've got a mounting point here and a mounting point here so you could attach a light on this side and a microphone on this side like maybe a directional microphone here and just an led on this side and it's just going to add a little bit more to your osmo pocket 3 experience this one's great you know it's a little bit similar to the other one, but just the fact that it comes with the clear, distinct two mounting options is nice. And it also does come with a slightly different mounting point. So this has a quarter inch screw on the base. And so you'd imagine that once this is opened up and you put it in like so, it gives you a little bit of an angle to mount up the Pocket 3. So maybe you're gonna have it mounted like that onto whatever, a tripod, whatever it may be. And then the Pocket 3 is gonna sit in there. So slightly different to the other one, similar, but slightly different. And uh, yeah, if you want a mounting rig like this with two distinct, options so you can mount a light and a microphone or even two lights this one is going to be perfect all right so let's move on to some of the bags the extra bags that I have and then we'll get on to these ND filters here so these two bags are similar but slightly different. This one here is slightly larger actually than the other ones. So it comes like this, you've got the strap, so you can turn it into a bag if you need to, but it also operates as a carrying case. So you can hold it like that, or you can mount on the strap and then you've got a bag as well. The material is a little bit forgiving, but definitely a hard case. And this one just gives you so many different options, right? So many options here. So you can put the camera system in like so, but let, let me just show you with this one. You can actually disconnect this point here and you can find wherever it's meant to go. So let's say for example, I put it in like so. So I've got the pocket three up here and then I've also got this guy here. So then I can put this right here like so. So perfect little slot for all the accessories. This is designed for the creator combo. So whether you have the added battery option here, maybe you've got the mic in here, you've got little options for cables or whatever it may be. It does have a bunch of options. For my setup, this is pretty much all I have. It's a little bit lonely. I could put the microphone in here if I wanted, but this is really the creator combo where you do get those extra accessories and it stores everything that you need in here. Even like the little like tripod that it comes with, the extra battery, all those different things that come with the Pocket 3 creator combo. And then on top, we do have this little section here, this mesh section here. So if I want to put some cables in, micro SD cards, I do have a few extra options in there. So like I said, this one is slightly larger than the others, and this is designed specifically for the creator combo. We've got one more bag here, and then I can show you some of these ND filters that I've got. So this bag here is a little bit smaller than the other one, but still can house the majority of the stuff you would need. So this is a different design. Again, different kind of material here. It does come with the strap, so you can turn it into a bag, or it does 
does have the carrying case style or the suitcase style. So as you open it up, you can see you've got a few different options here. So the first thing you'll see is that you've got this little section here. So this is where you could put some SD cards, you could put some ND filters, you can put some game cartridges, I guess, if you really wanted. You can put a bunch of different options in here. You do have this mesh design, this breathable mesh at the top, and this is where you can put some other cables, accessories, and whatever else in there. I love that you do have a spot here for the ND filters or for your SD cards. And then as we have a look in here, this is where you can put everything else. So this is where you can put a few of the extra accessories, whether that's the charging, like the battery case that can attach to the base of this, or whether you wanna put in the little tripod in there. You know, there's a few different options in here to mount. You put the microphone in here, or you can just put some other accessories alongside your Pocket 3. Like I said, not as big as the previous case, a little bit smaller and kind of ideal for my setup, I guess, in this scenario, because I can put in exactly what it is I need and I don't have to worry about the extra storage that you might have in the extra other cases, right? So as you put it in, it just kind of slots into place like so. There's a few other mounting options and you can put some other accessories and whatnot in here. So this is a great one and uh, well worth checking out. And then the final few accessories for the Pocket 3, such an awesome camera system. These are the ND filters. So I've got a few different ones here. I've got one from Skyreet, which is the four pack here. I've got a filter kit from BRDRC. And then I've also got this mega limited edition 14 pack from Freewell. So this one comes with everything. And like I said, they will all be linked below. So definitely check those out. But for this one here, I'll just open up the Skyreet one and I'll just show you how it mounts because it is a magnetic design, which makes it very very simple to connect. So let's just turn on the system itself. And then once you've got your desired ND filter, which we're just gonna go with this one here, like I said, it is just a magnet. So all I have to do is line it up, plop, and it's connected, it's that simple. You can also layer them if you really wanted. So if you wanted multiple ND filters, you can mount it up like so, and then you've got two ND filters attached. So you've got a few different options, but that magnetic design makes it nice and easy to mount really whatever it is that you need, multiple different ND filters on there. Love the design of it, love how simple it is. And like I said, you can do that with the different options. So this one here from Freewell, like I said, is the 14 pack. So it comes with everything. You've got this one here from BRDRC. This one here is a six pack, right? So you've got six ND filters or the one from Skyreet here is a four pack. And there's a bunch of other ones online. So definitely check those out. But I will have these ones linked below in the description. And that's pretty much it. That's all of my accessories, all of the must haves for the Osmo Pocket 3. Such an amazing camera system. Really do love this. So check those out. They will all be linked below. Hope this was helpful for you and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.